For the installation of the basic element of the vertical roof drain on insulated roofs, a designated opening is prepared to the level of the vapor barrier at the substructure. The basic element is inserted into the opening for test purposes and taken out again for the next work step. In order to provide a hermetic connection of the basic element to the vapor barrier, a suitable sealant is required. In this case, we're using Custa PU Flex 25, a single component, highly elastic polyurethane sealant for joints and connections. A bead of this sealant is applied to the back of the base plate of the basic element. Afterwards, the basic element is reinserted into the opening so that the base plate firmly rests on the substrate and the sealant adheres to the vapor barrier. Finally, the base plate is mechanically fixated to the substructure with suitable fasteners through the factory-made holes in the corners. With that, the basic element of the vertical roof drain is protected against misalignment during the next steps and the sealant can cure without any concerns. Now, the insulation and the Custa TPO waterproofing membrane can be installed. In the second step, in case of an insulated roof, the extension element of the vertical roof drain is installed. For this, an opening is cut into the Custa TPO waterproofing membrane in the place where the basic element was previously installed. Now, the Custa vertical roof drain can be pushed past the insulation into the basic element so that the mounting flange made from Custa TPO composite metal sheet has full contact to the Custa TPO waterproofing membrane. Depending on the thickness of the insulation layer, the pipe length might eventually have to be adapted. In this step, the mounting flange is mechanically fixated together with the Custa TPO waterproofing membrane to the substructure with suitable fasteners through the factory-made holes in the mounting flange. Finally, the flanged TPO sleeve is welded along the outer edge to the Custa TPO waterproofing membrane with the hand welder and silicone roller. For the installation of the water spout for drainage over the parapet, first an opening is prepared near the wall floor junction. The water spout is inserted into the opening so that the bent base plate rests horizontally and vertically on the floor and parapet respectively. By using suitable fasteners, the water spout is mechanically fixated to the substructure through the pre-drilled holes. In order to manufacture a two-part sleeve from Custa TPO 2.0U, at first, an overlapping of 6 cm to every side of the base plate is marked on the waterproofing membrane. The first part of the sleeve completely covers the horizontal part of the base plate and goes over the vertical part by 6 cm. After the first part of the sleeve is cut to the designated overall dimensions, both bottom corners are rounded. In order to mark the opening for the custom fit drain, the sleeve is placed by means of the set marking onto the intended position and the opening is cut out. The first part of the sleeve is completed and can now be welded. First, the sleeve is spot welded with the hand welder to the base plate of the water spout. Immediately after, the spot welded sleeve is welded along the outer edge of the base plate to the Custa TPO waterproofing membrane. In the process, the sleeve is heated and firmly pressed with a silicone roller. The upper part of the sleeve is manufactured similarly. After markings for the 6 cm overlap are set around the vertical part of the base plate, a strip of Custa TPO 2.0U with the corresponding overall dimensions and the opening for the drain are cut. The sleeve should reach down to the fillet of the base plate so that the previously installed sleeve is overlapped. All four corners are rounded. Finally, this sleeve is spot welded with the hand welder to the vertical part of the base plate of the water spout. Afterwards, it is welded to the base plate and along the outer edge of the Custa TPO waterproofing membrane with the silicone roller. For the installation of the Custa roof drain on a ventilated roof, the first step is to cut an opening in the Custa TPO waterproofing membrane at the designated place. After that, the Custa TPO waterproofing membrane is fixed mechanically with suitable fasteners four times around the opening. Now, the Custa roof drain is inserted into the pipe so that the TPO flange has full contact to the waterproofing membrane. 
In the next step, the flange is spot welded with the hand welder from inside to the Custa TPO waterproofing membrane. Immediately after, the spot welded flange is welded with the hand welder along the outer edge to the Custa TPO waterproofing membrane by heating and firmly pressing with the silicone roller. 